Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Google Chrome tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove viruses from Google Chrome. So if when you use the Google Chrome browser, either on your computer, Chromebook, MacBook, something like that, and you notice that you're having pop-ups or that you're being redirected to different websites, or even your default search engine has been changed, and this tutorial will go through some steps that should hopefully fix that for you. Now we'll start out with different things we can do inside the Google Chrome browser in the settings to hopefully fix this issue. And then if you have a Windows 10 computer, I'll show you how to do a virus scan on your computer to ensure that any viruses that could be causing these issues are removed. All right, so to get started with removing any viruses from Google Chrome, the first thing we need to do is check to see if we have any malicious apps or extensions installed in our Google Chrome browser. And to do that, we simply go up to the top right to open the menu by selecting the three vertical dots. Then in the menu, go down to more tools, select more tools, and then go to extensions. So this right here will be a list of all the extensions we currently have installed in the Google Chrome browser. And when you're in here, you want to look for any extensions maybe that you don't recognize, you don't remember installing, or you don't use. Anything you don't use often should be removed because that could be causing an issue. Once you find the extension you want to remove, simply select remove. And then right here, before we actually select remove, simply select report abuse. This will let Google know that that extension is abusive and maybe malicious, and they'll investigate it further. Once you select report abuse, go ahead and select remove to remove this extension from your Google Chrome browser. So this is just an example with Google Keep, but I'll go ahead and remove it. As you can see, once you select remove, it's been uninstalled from Google Chrome and it's no longer showing up in the list of extensions. So if you're still having the issue after removing any browser extensions, what I recommend doing is performing a reset of your Google Chrome browser. So this won't delete anything associated with your account. You will need to log back into your Google account, but it could remove anything causing these issues that we think might be a virus. And in order to do that, we need to first go to the menu again, up in the top right, the three vertical dots, and then go down to settings. This will open up the settings on our Google Chrome browser. Once you're in the settings, go in the left sidebar, select advanced, and then select reset and clean up. Then we just want to select the first option for restore settings to their original defaults. And as you can see, this will reset the Chrome settings. It'll disable extensions and then it will delete some cookies and other temporary site data. So this might remove any items that might be causing these issues. As you can see, your bookmarks, your history, and your saved passwords will not be affected. So now what you need to do is simply go to Reset Settings, select Reset Settings. It'll go through the process of resetting Google Chrome, and then you can see if your issues have been resolved. If your issues are still not resolved after performing a reset of the Google Chrome browser, go back to the Google Chrome settings, go under the advanced section in the left sidebar and then select reset and clean up. And what we're gonna do now is use Google Chrome to perform a virus scan on our computer or MacBook. Now this will not work on a Chromebook, but if you do have a virus on your Chromebook, check the description because I will have a tutorial covering that as well. So what we wanna do is select clean up computer under reset and clean up, which is the area of the settings we were in before to do a reset. Once you open up clean up computer, as you can see, it says find harmful software. So it's basically going to scan your computer for any software that it might identify as causing issues or being a virus. You also have the option to share anything that it finds with Google. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off for privacy reasons. But once you are ready, go ahead and select Find. It's going to check your computer for harmful software. This might take a couple minutes. And when the scan is complete, if it says no harmful software found, that means it didn't find a virus. But if it did find any harmful software, it'll go through the steps of helping you remove that. Now, the final step to removing any viruses from Google Chrome is going to be limited to Windows 10 computers. I'm gonna show you how to do a virus scan on your computer so that you can see if you have any viruses that may be affecting your Google Chrome browser. Now, if you're on a MacBook and you wanna do a virus scan, check the description because I'll have links that'll help you do that. So on our Windows 10 computer, what we need to do is go down to the bottom left with the Windows Start button down here, right click it, and then go to Settings. Once the settings open, scroll down to the bottom where it says update and security, select that. And then in the left sidebar, we wanna select Windows security. Once we're under Windows security, find viruses and threat protection, go ahead and open that up. And then in here, we have a couple different options for performing a virus scan on our computer. You can do a quick scan, but what I recommend doing is selecting scan options, then going down and selecting full scan right here. This will scan every file on your computer for a threat or virus. Once you select full scan, go ahead and select scan now, and then Windows Defender will perform a virus scan on your computer, and it will let you know if it has any viruses or files that you may be concerned about. It'll help you remove and quarantine from your computer. Now, keep in mind, the scan may take 
several minutes up to an hour, depending on how many files you have on your computer. All right, so those were several steps that hopefully remove any viruses you have from the Google Chrome browser, causing redirects or changing of your search engine, things like that. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Google Chrome tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.